Hello everyone, I'm Crystal Cruz. Today marks a major milestone in the fight against COVID. Exactly one year ago today, Midland got its first confirmed case. Tonight, we're taking a look back with a whole lot more knowledge than we had then. News West 9's Rachel Rip talked to two people on the front lines, the chief medical officer and the person responsible for giving you the information about the virus. Rachel, how do they remember this day? Crystal, March 19th, 2020 is a day this community will never forget. Now, the hospital says that they will always remember that first COVID positive patient, and the city will always remember typing out that first press release. It like gives me chills thinking about it. I remember his name, his, his, his history, his, his background. It was just kind of that deep sigh, like, okay, you know, it, it's real, it's here, and now it's time to, to act. 365 days since West Texans learned of the first positive COVID-19 case in our backyard. Today, we're looking back with a whole new perspective from the depths of that day, starting with the hospital finding out that morning. And it really did send kind of shockwaves uh, through the hospital, through the community, because now it's, it's real. It's here, it's in our backyard, and now we have to put our preparation into plans and, and actually start doing this. And then the city publicizing it. I was so nervous. You know, like you get a certain release, it's stuff you're sending, you're like, this is gonna start, like this is the start of Lord knows what's to come to Midland. Local leaders were expecting it. The hospital isolated this patient like they were expecting it but it didn't make reporting it any easier to swallow. Everyone forced to learn a new work routine. Almost every other aspect of my job stopped and everything was directed towards COVID. It changed the way that we uh, delivered food, the way that we cleaned the rooms. I mean, everything changed with this pandemic. So uh, we had to learn new modalities. We had to change our staffing models. We had to learn new relationships with our community providers, our chain supply stuff. I mean, it was really just turned everything on its head. With all this learning came loss too. The first COVID related death in the basin came later that same day. And I remember that call vividly in my mind, getting it from our health department director, Whitney, and then the hospital. And we were on a three-way phone call with myself, the health department, and the hospital. Our community has persevered through a lot. We've learned a lot. And looking forward, there's a lot of hope in store. We're so close we can taste it. You know, it's, it's palpable. We're almost there to where we can start to get back to some, some resemblance of normalcy. Now, Kit tells me, like you heard there, that we are almost out of this, but we're not there just yet. He says we still have a lot of people in this community to vaccinate and a lot of steps to go through, but there is that light at the end of the tunnel. Reporting live in Midland, I'm Rachel Ripp. Back to you.